The fame of many actors disappears just as fast as it comes. During their careers, some actors retire from acting, while others ruin their careers by wrongly doing something irreversible. It's unfortunate that we no longer see these famous faces on the big screen. Allow us to tell you why Hollywood won't cast these 10 actors anymore. Number 10. Nicolas Cage Nicolas Cage once had an era in which he was everywhere and meant everything to everyone. Numerous awards were won by him for his roles in the films Lord of War, Rock, and Face Off. As a result of his flops like The Wicker Man and Ghost Rider in 2006, he began to fall out of favor. Rumors suggest he took on these mediocre roles reluctantly because he was in such heavy debt. In the 2010 movie Kick-Ass, he played a small role as a superhero vigilante. Since then, he has not frequently been seen by the audience. Number 9. Jessica Alba Jessica Alba seemed destined for Hollywood's A-list for a long time, and her success was partly due to comic book adaptations. She played Susan Storm, aka The Invisible Woman, in 2005's Fantastic Four. And in that same year, she played out knockout dancer Nancy in Frank Miller's edgy crime story, Sin City. Alba eventually disappeared from the radar. Alba felt part of the problem was that she rarely got to sink her teeth into challenging leading parts. The majority of her work was in supporting roles, and eventually, these roles started showing up in bomb after bomb. Alba has been back and forth in different interviews about whether or not acting is a priority anymore, though it's clear she isn't making the same mark on Hollywood as she once did. She currently stars in the crime drama series LA's Finest, a spin-off of the Bad Boys films. Critics didn't like it as much as Alba's other recent films based on its embarrassing Rotten Tomatoes score of 7%. Number 8. Eddie Murphy Since Eddie Murphy hasn't had a great role for decades is a real bummer. The biggest comedy star in the 80s was without a doubt Eddie Murphy. Murphy's career ranged from his early performances on Saturday Night Live to his roles in movies like Beverly Hills Cop and Trading Places. Doing it all might actually have harmed the actor in the end. The Adventures of Pluto Nash, Meet Dave, and Norbit are all abysmal comedies that Murphy has practically parodied himself with his multiple characters stick. In the 1990s, Murphy continued to star in major movies, even outstaying his welcome. Shortly after finding some success with 2006's Dream Girls, Murphy attempted to do a string of serious indie dramas. He became an actor with no passion as a result. His comedy isn't well received, and the drama he tempts is too soft or simply washes over the audience. At the time, he was unable to make money from ill-advised sequels such as Dr. Doolittle and Daddy Daycare. Murphy might be able to find his groove again someday. Number 7. Shay LaBeouf most of us still remember actor Shea LaBeouf as the young star of the Disney Channel show Even Stevens. Later, he became a major action star thanks to the Transformers franchise. During his career, he has also worked with some of the biggest names in Hollywood, including Lars von Trier and Steven Spielberg. Although the actor has played some fortunate roles, his ego is starting to take over. The roles played by LaBeouf are disappearing as franchises replace his once popular roles. In the same way that Hollywood no longer casts actors, LaBeouf was unable to keep his public and private lives separate. He earned fewer roles due to his bizarre art performances, like hitting the red carpet with a bag over his head. Additionally, his off-screen behavior has become a liability. Unfortunately, there are several talented people who want to help LaBeouf, but he might not be able to see that. Number 6. Lindsay Lohan At one time, Lindsay Lohan was a major teen star, thanks to movie hits like Mean Girls and The Parent Trap. Lohan's life had completely turned upside down by the time she entered young adulthood. Hollywood avoided the star after she was arrested on various charges in a short period of time. As Lohan pointed out in a recent interview, it's important for everyone to understand her past is in the past. People have to just let go of it and stop bringing it up because it's not. It's gone. It's dead. And that's the most important thing to me, she said. As of now, she remains clean and focuses on her music career. Number 5. Taylor Lautner Taylor Lautner experienced a lightning-in-a-bottle rise to fame that can be intoxicating, but also incredibly brief. The Twilight series was a global sensation that made all of its actors, including Lautner, who played Jacob in the movies, into instant celebrities. Taylor Lautner's Twilight Saga success proved to be a springboard, but it seems there is still a shadow of Jacob hanging over him. Abduction should have been his launching pad into real Hollywood, but the movie was a box office bomb and wasn't well received by critics as well. In addition to that, his huge salaries just wiped out the movies shelved for him. Additionally, 
He was accused of having showmances with co-stars, which is not career-friendly. Due to Twilight being Lautner's only successful film, he has since pivoted towards TV roles, but he still struggles to find his place in the industry. Perhaps some of the comedies he has been doing will reboot his career. Fans are keeping their fingers crossed. Number 4. Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, which made actor Tobey Maguire famous in the first place, has remained his greatest work so far. He appeared in these films alongside some of the greatest actors of all time, such as William Dafoe, Kristen Dunst, and Alfred Molina. The Spider-Man movies were some of Marvel's most popular films before the Marvel Cinematic Universe was born with Iron Man in 2008. Prior to Tom Holland or Andrew Garfield playing Peter Parker, Cider House Rules and Wonder Boys star Tobey Maguire played Spider-Man in Raimi's films. Sadly, Maguire's post-Spider-Man career has been far less exciting. Despite 2002's Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2's critical and commercial success, 2007's Spider-Man 3 marked the end of the franchise on an unmistakable note. Spider-Man 3 made money based off the popularity of the first two movies, but fans and critics were disappointed with it. As part of his redemption plans, Raimi planned to make Spider-Man 4, but it never happened. McGuire's acting career suffered a serious setback with Spider-Man 3. Since then, he has appeared in a few television shows and movies, including Baz Luhrmann's version of The Great Gatsby. Nevertheless, nothing has resonated with audiences like the Spider-Man franchise, which has led to fewer and fewer leading roles for McGuire. He has been producing and voice acting mainly since 2014. Number 3. Jim Carrey in contrast to many other actors Hollywood no longer casts, comedian-turned-A-lister Jim Carrey chose to walk away from stardom. Having starred in hit comedy films such as Ace Ventura and Dumb and Dumber, Carrey decided to move into drama. Despite this career change, the star remained unsatisfied. Hollywood says that Carrey won't be cast anymore, but the truth is he simply wanted out of the spotlight. Thus, in the 2010s, Carrey centered his attention on painting instead of the red carpet. The actor spends most of his time painting these days, although he occasionally appears in films or television series. Carey's artistic abilities appear to extend beyond the screen. Additionally, he creates and sells political cartoons. Number 2. Macaulay Culkin Almost no one will ever forget Macaulay Culkin's outstanding performance in the iconic Home Alone. The then 10-year-old actor won millions upon millions of dollars for his role in Home Alone. He became a child star after playing a child who was left behind at Home Alone. Eventually, he was cast in more hit children's films such as Richie Rich and The Page Master. A child star's success can sometimes lead to fans knowing only them as one thing, a child. Apparently, Culkin did not become serious about becoming an adult actor because of that. Previously, it was announced that Culkin would appear in America Horror Story Season 10. Perhaps this is the beginning of his comeback. Number 1. Brendan Fraser Brendan Fraser is another actor who doesn't get as much attention as he once did. We simply wouldn't have had the 90s and 2000s without Brendan Fraser. Due to his roles in films like The Mummy, George of the Jungle, and Bedazzled, he became one of the biggest movie stars ever. He was a leading man for a good stretch in the early 2000s, but soon his act started to wear thin. In the aftermath of a string of dreadful films such as Monkey Bone, Fraser could only find roles in low-budget comedies with low earnings. However, a true actor will never turn down a role. Kids love it, adults love it. They're like, ha ha look, Brendan Fraser, the guy who is really buff in all those action movies has gotten fat, said Fraser in an interview. Fraser's film roles have dried up in recent years, which led him to turn to television. The Nut Job was his last notable movie role in which he voiced. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.